was a very long trip to get here through space. Space is different colors, um, mostly gold and purple colors. And uh, it took a very long time to get here. Many of us came together as a group from our place and having to experience being a human to help us in our experience. This mission has been going on for years, centuries. Suzanne is out of place, out of her place. And despite many lifetimes that she's lived here, learning to be human is still difficult for her. This goes back very far from today, many lifetimes, learning to be human. It's very difficult for her, and yet she's here. A group of us are connected together who are here at another level where we exchange information. She's met some of us. During her human years, sometimes she doesn't need anybody, any of us, but yet she knows that she's a part of us. This lifetime, many of us have been uh, alone in our mission, struggling, same as her experience, because of circumstances of this life, this time, this timeline and this life, we cannot be together. We will come back together. The human experience is nothing comparable to how we know how to experience light and from where we're from. There may be only 1,000 of us like this, like her here on this planet right now. We are all struggling. Our timelines do overlap here, so she may even connect to young people more because they're they're us in their group they've needed to come back after their their previous life there'll be more (coughs) young people that she will connect with that in their humanness she will know is young but they are from our group i'm just seeing something like push a big rock, like a giant rock, like the size of a car, just down the road. It's a metaphor for this life experience. It's very difficult. It's not it's not an uphill road, it's just a flat road. But the rock is very large and it's very bumpy and it's not easy to push and it certainly isn't smooth. But yet she keeps pushing the rock. She can push the rock as long as she wants to. Every little bit is important. And now she connects with the humans on this planet. This is a very long mission going on for a long time. And will continue for a while, even between lives. It's not much of a rest. But we do reconnect with each other and try to have signs to to remind ourselves during our human experiences that we're together at another level always. This space is very difficult. Many, many of us experience extreme difficulties, but we are persistent. We're as persistent with her as she is in her energy, in her boundless energy that she holds. People who know her will express that to her, that she just keeps going, and they don't know how. Sometimes she doesn't know how. She is on a relentless pursuit. We all are open to whatever shape that needs to take. And in the human Life, it just seems like failure. From our perspective, it's every little bit counts. 
there will be some experiences more joyful than others. Some of us will show up in a more meaningful connection, connected way with her, but we may not stay in her life for very long, same as she won't stay in our life very long. Sometimes we just pass each other on the road or through an airport or a vacation location, maybe living in the same town but don't know each other but just have a sense of familiarity and maybe never ever speak. Sometimes know each other for longer but never stay together because we're all here to do something. She's understanding this now. To have the human experience, you have to be human and participate in the belief system of being human and be a part of this universe, this universe, experiencing its evolution physically. Emotionally, mentally, spiritually, beliefs. She has to wear all of that at the time everybody else does. Her pain comes from, her struggle comes from confusion about why. But it's like wearing a costume. She has to wear a costume to be human, to do this job. And humans have to go through things. So they can understand she can't be on this planet and look like how she looks from where she comes from. People would never, they wouldn't understand it. They wouldn't believe it. So she has to wear the human suit. And the energy here has done a lot of damage to her. She, she will be fully repaired. When this mission is complete and she returns, she's just feeling defeated along with many of us right now. Yet we have boundless energy and we will keep going. She thinks she's giving up, but she's just resting so that she can wait out whatever time is needed before she goes again. Lifetimes Overlap. So, Sam has dreams that might have other experiences that her energy has in her human's costume here. We don't say costume as a joke. We say it as an explanation for how she's putting on this human body. It's not real to her, who she is, or where she's from, but it's necessary while she's here. And it's very uncomfortable for her here. We're all together. All the time. At the level that we know how to be connected. But being human has us forgetting that. Suzanne has many lifetimes since we began our journey here together. We have all had many lifetimes. Some at the same time. Many lifetimes trying to help the evolution of this consciousness. It's uncertain if it is going to be um, 100% successful. It is not to our plan, not to our expectation. We, we did plan to be gone this long. We did plan on challenges, but not to the degree in which we've experienced many setbacks and yet when each of us leaves a life we have a collection collective meeting amongst ourselves amongst our energies to choose the next way we could help this planet she's understanding this now Feeling more relief. When you're here on this planet, how can you do anything but take things personally? It's your life. 
she's the great note wisdom from where she's from. She wants to understand things. Of course, she's a seeker in her humanness, in her human body right now. But it's just part of the costume. Because to show up here looking how she's from not not work. I see, and where is she from? Through the purple and gold colors. It's a long journey. It took a long time to get here. Mm-hmm. Not this universe. Someplace else. She's from a place of um, healing wisdom that was requested many, many centuries ago. She's been here as an eagle, as a tiger, as a lion, as a giraffe, as trees. It's how far back she had to start to understand Earth. That's why she has a love for animals, because she knows what it's like to be an animal. She's from far away with the rest of us. And just see like thousands of light balls just kind of moving through space through this purple, yellow, gold color. Like a big open vast space to get here. I see. And tell me more about this place. We're healers. We go on long missions to different places. Our energy is um, very clear, very bright. It's, um, it's, you could call it like a healing, healing think tank. And when people need, when, when energies need healing from many different other universes, they will come to out us and we will put together a group to go. She's in this group. She's asked before about other people that she's met here that are from the group. And we've acknowledged them as being, yes, part of the group. We travel at nighttime back to where we're from to get more information, more wisdom. As people are constantly adding to this think tank from where we're from, we leverage that on our missions here. Some of us are homeless, some of us are waitresses, some of us are doctors, some of us are engineers, some of us are homemakers. We wear different roles here, roles that we feel could help us impact the most amount of people. Suzanne does not have a clear identity while we all while most of us do, she's just looking for that clarity. We thought when she came here, she thought into this body and this life, she would have a role as a healer. That's not happened for her. And she's confused about that. And she's frustrated and doesn't know what to do about that. She is a healer. She will be a healer. And she is a healer in this life. But she doesn't need to be doing it the way that she thinks. She's going to be a healer. We're all healers. We're doctors. We're homemakers. We're waitresses. We're airline pilots. We're all different kinds of roles here. We're homeless people. Because we're where we need to be. She's where she's supposed to be. I see. And you mentioned a mission. What's the mission you've been mentioning? This is a new place. This universe is a newer place. It was just starting. And it's it's a valid concept that is trying to take off in its consciousness. It's very uh, young. It's like a crying baby. And the crying baby called to us. So we are the essential source 
of healers in the entire space bigger than you could imagine. And we are asked to come to support the evolution of this universe. So other other groups from other places are, have also been called. And they are here too, but have a different type of wisdom. Uh, Mar ours have to do more with the the love connection, the the meaningful love connection that is the highest of all connections. But there are other places that focus solely on uh, just growth of of of, of nature or growth of um, as a, of a technology. That's not our expertise. Ours is about love and connection. We've been here a long time. We will be here. We are committed to this mission. Some lifetimes are much more challenging than others. This one is very difficult for many of us. It's a rough time as energy is shifting in big ways right now that will happen over the next few hundred years. So, like pushing a bumpy, huge rock down the road. It's heavy. It's exhausting. It seems impossible. Sometimes part of the rock could be a little bit smoother of a turn as it gets pushed down the road. Other times it gets stuck. Right now it seems like it's very stuck. It's hard. It's hard to do by yourself. Tell me, why was she shown this first experience today? It was the travel, the initial travel that the group of us took, leaving our healing place to come to this universe. I've seen, is there anything else that Suzanne needs to understand about this today? It was the faraway place. It was a long journey to get here. We are far away from home, the home that we know. And what's the home that you know? The healing think tank home. It's the place of healing wisdom where many universes come for support and help. Very good. Is there anything else that Suzanne needs to understand about this today? She knows that's where she's from. It's We showed her a long journey so that she could understand that she's far, far, far away from home. And it's, it's not easy to be away from home. I understand that. I see. And what does Suzanne look like at this home where she's from? We all look like round balls of white light energy. It's very bright. It's like a crystal clear uh, glass box, like but the size of the size of Earth. And we live inside of it, and we come up with formulas for healing and our our um, wisdom is very it's the highest respect from any other universe they come for us they come for our help 